Hi friends, so let us discuss the last learning strategy or the learning paradigm unsupervised learning. As the name indicates, there is no supervision at all. That means there is no teacher and there is no critic also. So this is this come under learning without a teacher. Same, just like reinforcement learning that is also come under learning without a teacher and this also come under learning without a teacher. But in reinforcement learning, there is a critic, so it operates something better than this. But here, there is no critic and there is no teacher at all. Let us see how it how it can be done and how the learning can be done without the teacher. So this is the block diagram. The block diagram contains simply the environment and the learning system there are only two things one is environment and the learning system environment is directly connected to learning system and here the vector describing the state of the input is provided to learning system so obviously with that input only learning system has to be trained and the learning system has to be given has to be given the output that's all so very simple structure but let us see how it exactly happens so coming to this, this come under the learning paradigm of learning without a teacher as we already discussed. Here there is there is no teacher and no critic to oversee the learning process. So it can see by its own thing. So it will run by its own. Then what is that own thing? So a provision is made for a task independent measure of the quality of representation that the network is required to learn. So there is a provision, some measure is there, in task independent measure is there, based on that measure only it has to work out. So the free parameters are modified with respect to that measure only. There is some measure, okay, there is some condition, there is something, some uh, learning methodology, some learning rule has to be adopted to make the system independent, maybe without any supervision. So in the next let us see the operation, how it exactly happens. So to perform an, to perform an unsupervised learning, the competitive learning rule is used as we already discussed, the competitive learning rule. So it obviously contains two layers, one is input layer and second one is competitive layer. Generally it won't call as output layer, it's called as competitive layer as in those layers how many neurons may be there but only one neuron will fire at a time and all other neurons will keep quiet. So that's the competition. So the, there is a competition among all those neurons and one neuron will win out of the, out of all those neurons and that neuron only fires. That neuron only fires and all other neurons will keep quiet. That's what the competitive learning is and we have already discussed this competitive learning rule in the previous lectures you can also see the same thing in the description also i will share in description so you can see that one so the network operates in winner takes all strategy that means who who else is the winner and who which neuron is the winner and it will take everything that means from that only everything has to be fired that means all other neurons will keep quiet so that's what the strategy here they are applying likewise there are some other strategies also which can run independently without the help of any supervision so that's why this is called unsupervised learning and this is a very very good example so in this way the unsupervised learning is conducted or the unsupervised learning is the one learning strategy so this is all about unsupervised learning and you can Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please like it. If you want to share this video, please try to share with your friends and colleagues so that they can also know the, they can also get the benefit of this, these videos. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel and if your friends haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, so please do subscribe so that it will give very good boost for me so that I can I can improve my 
teaching skills are i can improve my number of videos and i can improve my different areas of videos also so please do subscribe and try to press the bell button so that you will get the notifications whenever i upload the new videos thank you thank you very much